Sega. Welcome everybody to Let's Play Sonic Colors. But wait, I thought we don't play Sonic games anymore because Sonic 06. When did we ever say that? We never did, <laughs> but you know, just in case somebody actually thought we did. So this is Sonic Colors for the Wii. Hello, Sonic. Do you read me? I'll be your navigator. And uh, so, confession words. time. This is actually the first time that uh, that uh, Drac has seen. Sonic, Sonic Colors, colors so this is going to be unique for me. Mm -hmm. And, well, pretty unique for a 3D Sonic game. It just drops us right in the action this time. We don't start with a cutscene. Yeah, because I, I kind of don't get what the story is at this point. So yeah. It's just sort of a cold opening, I guess. Throw you right into the action. It's like the old Sonic games. Oh, right. Oh, but Drac, you're not supposed to refer to the old Sonic games. Because that would make you a purist. Yeah, well, bite me. So basically, this is the the Sonic game that, that was for the Wii to kind of counteract Sonic 06 being on other consoles and the Secret of the Rings or the storybook tales not very doing very well. Mm -hmm. Now, one of the things I do like is that this is on the Wii, which means you would think it would be forced to a motion control scheme. And Alex is actually playing on a GameCube controller. That's correct. You can do motion controls if you want, but you can play with the classic Wiimote, the GameCube controller. Yay! Oh, I didn't get... Amazing! Oh, you'll get it. Alright. Yes, I'll be playing. That actually is... That, that's made me a little excited for this game, because that was unique. I love the fact that it's a 2.5D uh, platformer mm -hmm. because there are points where it is 3D, but it actually does step back into the 2.5. Yes, and I loved it for the time, but admittedly, it's getting old now. Yeah, because the graphics look a little dated even for the Wii. There we go. Wow. Okay. I'm actually oh. also kind of wondering if uh, the same people who did Lost World did colors because it looks really familiar to that i mean they're both sonic team games i'm sure some of the same developers carried over and you only got a d all right well That's no you got a c b a b yeah you can play with the scoreboards because grades matter in this game I like the I like the fact that he continues. Is that you breaking the score? Yep, that's me. You that's can, awesome. Yeah, you can play with the scoreboard. It's that's actually it. a real good way to get one ups because, for whatever reason, they don't give you one ups when you hit 100 rings. All right, so it's Act Two of Tropical Resort. Um, yeah, there is a story, so 
You'll see, but right now we're just playing through the stages. So yeah, let, let's let the story unlock itself. You can barely hear that. I might have to turn out that audio a little bit, but that's basically yeah. uh, Eggman saying to the person who has a white car saying egg on it, your car has been broken into. <laughs> Wait, what? Yes, that's another. So basically, I'll just go ahead and reveal this now. We're basically in a giant interstellar amusement park. And, well, Dr. Eggman will be constantly making these PA announcements throughout the game. Well, I mean, his logo's everywhere right now, yeah. so that's kind of a given. It's kind of hard to hear. Unfortunately, there's no way to just turn up the audio on it's, that. It's the Wii. The, but, the audio was always kind of weird on the Wii. But you can pretty much find them on YouTube. Okay, but I, I will admit uh, I am liking the score so far. Very both new and reminiscent of old school titles. I haven't even got the Laser Wisp yet. Oh, yeah. Uh, That's okay. another weird mechanic. You can wall jump. Wow. Adding a wall jump to Sonic. Now, that is kind of innovative, but also from what I'm seeing on my end, because I'm not controlling it, seems clunky. It's actually not too bad. It's just, it's meant for corner jumping, and I'm just, uh. <laughs> I'm jumping against a wall here. A lot of these mechanics you will find were introduced in Sonic Unleashed. So uh, the, you, you mean the red rings? Or, everything. I or mean, the wall like, jump? Pretty much the whole game. Pretty much all the mechanics of this game were introduced in them. Go back here. Wow, I don't know why people are knocking Mario for adding in new mechanics, because these red stars, or these red rings, are roughly the equivalent of, like, the green stars in Mario 3D World. Mm -hmm. So I don't I don't get the problem. It adds replayability. Yeah. Where, where where I'm not hardcore. I mean, somebody out there is. There are hardcore Sonic fans out there. Yep. Unfortunately, one of them is, um, what's his bucket? Uh, Chris Chan. Uh huh. Is that, is that what yeah. it is? He loves to hear his own lips flap, but I gotta hand it to the eggster. This place is epic. Everyone and their brother is gonna wanna come here. <laughs> no doubt. But now I'm not sure why we're here. This place looks totally harmless. Because Eggman plus secretly built amusement park equals evil plot for us to foil. Lucky for us, he's not very good at keeping things hidden. True, it would be pretty hard to miss a giant floating space amusement park surrounded by planets. That looks like your great grandpa's so, satellite. Evil plot? I don't know. Wow, plot or not, you can't be mad at this view. This place has taken beauty to the next level. I'm just surprised that it was so easy to sneak in here. Uh, I wouldn't say it was that easy. Hello, happy people. Buckle up as Eggman's ultra-accelerating space elevator whisks you to an interplanetary wonderland of fun. I have a feeling we're having a flashback level. Not for a while. It's like Eggman's begging us to sneak in and trash the place. Man, this thing's got crazy fast acceleration. <laughs> you call this Holy fast? crap, it's an orbital elevator! The park has been constructed entirely out of a sense of remorse for my past transgressions and is in no way associated with any sort of evil plot or premeditated mistakes. Of course not. Flat wise. For people who didn't notice, I just totally made a Gundam reference. Just thinking about it makes my head feel like it wants to. Huh? Like that? Your voice chip is stuck on cowboy again. Stop talking and net those aliens. So I'm guessing this is the introduction of those characters. They were introduced back in Unleashed, but okay. pretty much it's their first scene. I'm not sure what's going on, but I'm sure of what I'm gonna do. Huh? Hey, what's going on? Huh? Whoa! 
I don't think that's very healthy, <laughs> eating aliens like that. Let's I, I think this. I think it hurts interstellar relations. Oh, can we actually name these things? Yeah, we name our save file. Oh, okay. All right. So, give us a good one. Uh, it's got to be Drac Shadow or okay. something like that. Yeah. Do, 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 do. Yes, I'm not like the game grumps where I like to, you know, do a penis reference for everything. <laughs> penis. Oh, are we actually going to be able to fit Drac and Shadow? Let's try it. Let's see. Let's do it. Let's see. Q R S. That's R. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's do, S -S do we need to send you back to the alphabet school, Alex? I think you do. Send me back to first grade. Uh, no, we are not. Ah. It's almost there. So that's up to you, dude. I will just abbreviate. Actually, uh, actually, no. Just take out the ampersand and just okay. do Drac Shadow. Okay. Take People will be confused, but I mean, when you look at the cha the channel, I mean, should you really be confused? It is Drac and Shadow. Oh, the music is just oh. We can select a me or an icon. We'll go with Sonic. Just go with Sonic, Sonic yeah. Of course. Next stop, yes, this is a really great amusement park where you have things chained to planets. <laughs> Sonic, Bo it's Sonic CD all over again. Pretty much. Okay, tropical resort. Act three. And now I kind of see why people call this a Mario clone. Because of the map. But that's not yeah. bad! Okay, I'm trying to remember how to sidestep in this game. It's alright. Okay, I really can't. And it looks like this is where, where Sonic Generations got a dash mechanic. Again, Unleashed uh, did it first, so. Okay. Just nobody likes to un acknowledge Unleashed because of the Werehog. Okay, that was kind of fun. Laser! Perhaps I should have... Okay, I really should have turned the guide back on. Okay. I... Okay. I'm sorry, I'm kind of relearning the controls again. Okay. It's alright, it's alright. We're doing it live. We're doing it live. Whee! Okay, X is slide. I still don't know how to sidestep, which is bad because I'm going to need to do that in later stages. All right, you'll figure it out. We believe in the heart of the cards. So what are the diamonds that are that we've seen littered throughout? They're just going to be the laser wisp guides. Oh, so you Is have to power it up again? Yeah. I mean, you would think it'd be the shoulder buttons, L and R, but for some weird reason it's not. Is there time? No, because Nintendo didn't really know how to use the utilize those properly. Sega. Unless you were talking about Z targeting. I'm sorry, L targeting. And Nintendo fans, don't argue with me on that. The only time those shoulder buttons were accurately used, in my opinion, was Metroid Prime, and that's retro! Oh, and Sonic has a double jump. Oh my gosh, a double jump mechanic? It's almost like this is a platformer or something. Wow! I know. It's crazy. Can you believe it? It's time once again, Alex. It's time once... I, ha I have to say it. Ha it it's coming. It's coming. It's platforming! So much platforming. And you probably also noticed in the and time. It's all, and it's almost like it's returning to... I have to say it. I, I have to say it, Alex. There's no stopping me. It's like it's blast processing! Yep. What, too much? Uh, I can yeah. also kind of see where the Sonic Boom imagery kind of came from, at least from the Robotnik end. The fuck? Come on! And the F-bombs begin! <laughs> I don't know what the fuck that was. You saw me, guys. I, I, I clearly honed in on that. I thing. don't know what it is about Sonic. He's a diehard fan, but it brings out his inner salty sailor. <laughs> Arr. <laughs> Arr. Which is appropriate considering what we were doing last night. <laughs> yeah. 
All right. Okay, so I was, I was about to say, you've probably noticed in the time since Sonic 06 and now this game, the voice cast has changed. We now have the modern voice cast of Sonic. Yes. That includes Roger Craig Smith as Sonic. Tails is actually somebody different from Boom. It's Kate Higgins in this game. And I don't, I don't mind the new cast. Um, yeah. Sonic still sounds okay. Tails is... I don't actually notice a difference, like, because I'm comparing him to Lost World, and it doesn't sound that different. Yeah, I, Tails is the same in Lost World. Oh, okay, it's boom where they changed it. Yeah. All right. And wow, there's two exits. Wow, it's almost like that's innovation! <laughs> Come on, drop some damn lives! <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna say it. Hey, diehard Sonic fans who don't like this game, this is actually a step forward in the series. Yes, that's why I regard it more as a step progression than I do Unleashed. And Mario cloned my butt. Mario was successful, so sometimes you have to adopt from successful titles. Fair enough. I don't really consider this to be a galaxy clone like everybody claims it is. No, I, if anything, I was actually kind of going towards the new Super Mario Brothers kind of uh, etching. I, I wouldn't call it a galaxy clone. Now, I know a lot of people call Lost World a galaxy clone, but again, well, it is. <laughs> galaxy was successful. I don't see a problem there. That That's like getting on... Um, it, it really does make about as much sense as complaining about Bioware and comparing them to, say, another RPG company out there. I don't know, like Bethesda or something, which I don't even know why I made that comparison. I don't even know where I'm going. It's like comparing Bioware to Legend of Zelda. Oh, I gotta see. They're different. There we go, finally. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I probably could have done better if I just hurried up. The key to do those is just do them as fast as quickly. Whoa, hurry up! Now, let me see. Gotta connect the framostatic capacitor to the maximizing modulationizer. <laughs> Please, tail say multimodal reflection sorting. I wish I knew what you were saying, little guy. Or gal. Or whatever you are. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, that was crazy! Oh, I was reconfiguring my handheld into a translator so I can understand this guy. Did you go somewhere? <laughs> Didn't you see? I absorbed those aliens and got powered up with, like, some kind of wild energy. Tails, the absent-minded two-tailed fox. Uh, I find that hard to believe. Unleashed might have done it before, but I think this is the game that really starts establishing Tails as sort of the mechanical wizard that he is. catching these aliens fits into whatever heinous plan he's hatching. And wreck that plan, right? Yeah, that's pretty much how we spend our time. I, I don't know if I'd agree, because Adventure kind of established his mechanical prowess. I suppose you're right. Because they had to do something with him, and they also had to explain why there was a jet out of nowhere in Sonic 2. <laughs> Alright, so here we go into Tropical Resort Act 5. This is already outside the Sonic norm, where there's more than three acts. Oops. <laughs> it doesn't line up perfectly. There we go, finally. There we go. That'll actually be the key to really getting good ranks in this game, is really utilize the voice. I, I would not be surprised at this. They seem to be like the key mechanic. As such, I'm not going for an all A rank. Uh, we haven't before. <laughs> I, I'm not that awesome. We're not we're not completionists here. Except for except for my wife, the completionist. We will fit a P it. Fit a it! Oh, and after you finipede it, please make sure to subscribe. Oh, sorry, Greg. We didn't mean to steal your thunder. Okay, so... Oh, that's cool. His dash has multicolors. Mm -hmm. It's a rainbow dash! Oh my gosh, Bronies! I made a joke! Uh, I'm 
Ah, this just bad. in, bronies hate Dragon Shadow. <laughs> of course they will. Oh. I don't know, I've been recommended a couple of times to look into My Little Pony, and I'm, I'm just telling you guys right here and now, it's not gonna happen. I don't see the appeal. I really don't. It's just My Little Pony. This well, it, the appeal, I guess, is that it, you know, it's a revamp of the series. Mm -hmm. And while I think the hub has done fairly good with its revamps, I mean, Transformers Prime is awesome. Um, no. Just, just no. Uh, the spikes, spikes, spikes. Is it time again for Laser? Woo, that was cool. <laughs> that was laser tastic. Oh, oh wait, hey. holy crap. I can actually make this joke again because he keeps saying laser. It's almost like I can start talking about lasers again. It's having fun yeah. with lasers. Would you guys appreciate it if I talked like this the I, entire episode? Don't, don't do that. <laughs> Good, because it kind of hurts. Act 6. Yeah, they're pretty short, you can see, so... No, that's fine. I mean, the, the levels are still fairly well designed. Mm -hmm. So, it's almost like Sonic Team learned how to make levels in between games. <laughs> yes, they really did. Oh my gosh. Oops, that just, was my just, fault. <laughs> just wait, we're going to get a comment from Chris Chan. You guys just don't understand! Oh wait, you've been arrested, so maybe we won't get one. <laughs> yeah, but nobody cares what Chris Chan has to say. Well, I... apparently Chris Chan does. You didn't see that he got like arrested for the second time, right? I did see that. I heard. He went into a GameStop that he'd been kicked out of for literally going in and spray painting Sonic's arms blue. <laughs> Or no, no. Was it spray painting them blue or white? Probably white, because people were complaining that Sonic has blue arms. Oh my gosh! In Sonic Boom, he's got blue arms and a scarf. And he's got this weird obsession with sports tape. <laughs> Almost like everybody in the Olympics. <laughs> uh, it's the green eyes controversy all over again. Eh. We, at Dragon Shadow, we like controversy because... It tends to make Drac go on rants, and it tends to make, well, Shadow have a salty mouth. So <laughs> it works. There we go. I swear, one of these days we're going to make a ABGN joke, and it's going to be about Alex. He's the angriest Sonic gamer you've ever heard. Yes. Well, no, he's not. <laughs> that would be Chris Chan. Yeah, I think Chris Chan's probably worse than me. Another seat, but that's oh, and he, what made that arrest even better is he uh, he maced the GameStop employee that tried to get him away from yeah, him. Yeah, I heard the story. It's pretty pathetic. Ah! I hate when that happens, though. Those stupid I'm, I'm just, drops and then the, <laughs> then the character locks up. So That uh, that does suck, but I, I just, I'm going to say it right now. Coming up next week on Dog the Bounty Hunter, he hunts down Chris Chad, who's in a, co in a Sonic costume that is purist. Not nearly enough aliens. I know, right? You want us to get more? Civilization needs millions. No, I want you to get me a cheeseburger and a shake. <laughs> That'll be easier. Cheeseburgers don't run as fast as them little alien farmers. Great, now I can go for a cheeseburger. The <laughs> one I had last night wasn't that good. Yeah. Y'all want fries with that? <laughs> okay. As a minion, he deserved that. Mm -hmm. Da, da, I'm just saying, da, da, Eggman was justified. Da, 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 da. Yeah, Adam's gonna kill me because the humor does really remind me of Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog. But to, I think it reminds. Shut up, Adam. I'm shut up. I'm shut up. Sonic. I haven't said anything. Yeah, but you were you were going into the I rule. The <sighs> no, I was taking a deep breath, actually, but go ahead. <laughs> so, yeah, Solder Colors actually brought in two new writers. More. They're the writers of Happy Tree Friends, and they've been kind of writing for the game since. Really? Yeah. And it's boss time. It's the Ferris wheel. Oh, death. Guess it's time.
time for me to start stopping. That sentence did not make sense. <laughs> start stopping? You just stop. I don't know. Well, welcome to Eggman Robot number one. Oh. Hey, aim. I did not want to do that, but I couldn't. Uh, you could also homing attack it, but using the wisps is a lot more effective. I'm guessing so, because it almost feels like they want you to use the wisps. They are a mechanic of the game. And if you haven't also noticed, when Sonic's in boost mode, the music kind of fades, which is pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Oh no, he is ninja. He has a ninja star. Oh, where's Sonic? Oh, there we go. Okay, there's Sonic. Yep, boss down. Really? This soon? Yeah. The bosses, Three hits and you're dead. The bosses are pretty easy in this game. That's still a fairly well-designed boss, though. 